And welcome back, everybody. Uh, where do unwanted Alaska Snoopies go? Sounds like a joke, but the dog that Snoopy is based on, well, it's a beagle. Yeah, and then there is a man in Wasilla who has made it his mission to be the Charlie Brown to any rejected Snoopies across our state. Let's get right to it. There's a house in Wasilla, Alaska that has a deck that's full of dogs. So I'm full-time a beagle wrangler. <laughs> they look like pooch passengers barking goodbye on a canine cruise ship. Meagles. <laughs> Dave Dorsey likes to laugh. <laughs> because he's a happy canine keeper. But I love them all. <laughs> and these 18 beagles at his Alaska Beagle Ranch are barking. <laughs> Wait a second. Make that 17 beagles and... Got one basset. His name is Bill. And I like to say that he identifies as a beagle. <laughs> Bassett Beagle Bill got it. Well, they bark because they're happy knowing this is their forever home. Where's my doggies at? They're a ragtag bunch of unwanted, but here with Dave, there's one thing they will never do without again, and that's love. You're at the headquarters of the Alaska Beagle Ranch. <laughs> this is where all beagles come to be happy. Whether it's letting them out a door. Here we go. <laughs> or letting them outdoors. <laughs> It's a stampede of unrestrained joy. They're good dogs. They're easy to love. Whether it's chasing the ball or weaving their way through deep snow trails in the yard, it's beagle mania. It's a beagle attack, you know? So. <laughs> this all started for Dave back in 2009. I was divorced for about a year, and I decided it was time to get a dog again, because I always had dogs. And, well, here we are. He knows all their names. We got Duke. We got uh, Pearl, we got Xena, we got Bonnie, we got uh, Duke too. We got... And yes, beagles are notorious for their barking, but Dave has a solution. I, I know when not to wear my hearing aids. <laughs> but Dave, you might miss something important like this. <laughs> but get these beagles in their comfort zone in the house and look at these sweet faces, loved, content, and calm because of this man's huge heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is truly home sweet home for these unconditional loving creatures, but does Dave have a favorite? Shiloh's had a rough life and he's had a hard time and whatever, and he just steals my heart. Uh, this time last year, he was kicked by a moose. I'm about the fifth home he's been at. Uh, this is his last one, of course. And maybe Shiloh embodies what the Alaska Beagle Ranch is all about. So a bark, <laughs> it can mean so many things, but a simple tail wag, well, maybe that's all we need to know. I'm Dave Allgood, and that's... It's all about love. You know, you could have the worst day going on, and you come home and got these guys here, they just make it better. The All Good News. Yeah, Aww. there's so much more I could tell. I have two and a half minutes to tell the story, but uh, yeah. uh, Dave says he, he makes blueberry pancakes every week for his Beagle family. Aww. And more good news, in November of last year, the Alaska Beagle Ranch became a 501c3, so their official sanctuary. So, oh, that's yeah, great, yeah. And uh, they say he's always accepting dog food and supplies. And for more on Dave and his Beagles, check out our uh, his Facebook page at AK Beagle. Ranch. I'm sure you'll have that info on our website as yep, well. But uh, they just seem so happy. They are, and, he, and he's happy, and yeah. he's a retired Air Force guy and also did parts for a car dealership here in town for 20 years, oh, wow. whole second career, and uh, but a uh, really nice guy. That's and great. his neighbors, by the way, they love him. They do love they him. They don't mind so, about uh, Here's Noah O'Donnell with... Uh,